Hello everyone, this is Collector of All Things, and today I have for you another stunning piece. This is a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 396, and this is from uh, the die-cast uh, makers M2 machines. And uh, this, uh, I've already done uh, another video of a Plymouth Roadrunner in 1969, and I said I would do a follow-up video with another one of these great models. And really why I wanted to do them is uh, just not only for their, their great detail, but also for their size. So I'll just put my thumb in the way just to show you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It is the size of my thumb. This is a 1 64th scale model. And uh, it may be hard to pick up on camera, but it has actual metal flake. Like it's going out of focus. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better focused here. And you can see the metal flake all along. Look at that. The paint is just stunning on this version. It has that amazing back end. Look at the detail of the lights. Now this is basically the size of a matchbox car, a Hot Wheels car. I mean, I'll pick it up right now just to show you. Look, I'm holding it right now and let's see if we can get it into focus here. It might be a little bit harder because it's so tiny. Let's go a little bit freehand here and try and get a better view of it. Look at that. Just a really beautiful piece. For such a tiny model, you got the writing on the wheel, the white walls. You have, if we close the door, you have the SS badge right over here. We'll turn it. Wow, that is just incredible. You have a detailed engine, not as detailed as a, a 118 scale or a 124, but still pretty amazing for the size of a vehicle. If we close the, the hood right now. We'll just give it a little look at that. We'll close the other side. I mean, you could be tricked into thinking you're looking at a much bigger model. Look at the lights. This is made up of 42 parts or pieces, parts and pieces, as they say on the box. But just a truly amazing looking. The door handles, the keyhole, it's, it's just literally unbelievable what they were able to do. Look at that. Incredible. And we'll take a look at here. We'll, we'll turn it right around. We'll take a look at the box that it comes in. So it comes in a detailed box and it looks like this right here. So they make obviously from other manufacturers, Chevrolet, Dodge, you got Buick, you got Cadillac, Pontiac. So you could probably find the muscle car that you like. And uh, these, I actually picked these up at Walmart. I was looking for something else and came across it. They come with a little display stand, diamond plate, really, 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 really nice. And really how it's designed is to hold the car in with the door open so we can place it on with the door open here. Now you can see how it looks. And it even comes with its acrylic cover so you can keep dust off of it look at that that is just truly awesome so for collectors of die cast vehicles uh you know for, to get detail at this level is just incredible and um i highly recommend this to anyone who would like to have a little collection of muscle cars or die cast cars um but just doesn't have the space to put a 124 scale or even a 118, which is even bigger. <clears throat> you know, in the past, going down to a much smaller scale, you lost detail. Now, as I said, they're not as highly detailed as the bigger ones. But wow, I mean, to be able to put, you, you could put probably, what, 10, maybe 15 of these, uh, well, at least 10 of these in a space of a, a 118 scale. So it makes collecting a lot easier for someone who is space conscious. Uh, and they're beautiful. Uh, they're made out of metal. They have rubber tires with tread. Unbelievable. They can be disassembled. 
uh, which is something else. They do come in model kits where you have different pieces and they have different vehicles. So uh, again, I'm truly blown away. M2 machines uh, and uh, you can find them online also. So for anyone interested, I highly recommend them. And uh, I'm, I'm having fun picking a couple of these up because I'm in my muscle car phase right now and uh, really beautiful. So uh, thank you for staying uh, for this review and, uh, you know, please subscribe. Thank you to all my subscribers and uh, I'll probably follow up with another uh, review. I was able to, uh, there's another model uh, of this caliber that I was looking at that I really like. So I think I'm going to pick up one more at least, do another video of that. So look forward to that coming up in my future videos. Thank you and have a nice day.